Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about recent news and being an absolute asshole. The incident between by, by the incident of the Victoria's Secret Karen at the Short Hills Mall in New Jersey which didn't sit right with me and just felt really weird and just okay a lot is coming out and there are a lot of news articles as well where you can kind of see things that just don't sing really good things. Now, if you haven't been paying attention, and quite frankly, I kind of hope you haven't because the news is utterly depressing, and I kind of, it, this kind of came across my desk in a sort of accidental way. You know, I'm on Instagram liking people's vacation photos and because, you know, some friends and I went, some friends went on a boat trip. I was putting up images from my recent beach trip with my big sister and, you know, just, wait, what the heck? You know, Karens exist in all societies and some of them are really quite lovely. But we're talking about the bad type of Karen. So we have a lady of color who is at Victoria's Secret with a coupon for a free pair of underpants and just, you know, minding her own business. And we have this person who was acting like a big jerk, so this lady with the coupon is basically like, yeah, okay, I don't feel right about this. I am just going to record this just in case. And I do highly recommend, if you're going to be dealing with certain people, uh, for example, law enforcement, and you just feel like you're not really going to get hurt, and I have seen this um, a lot with my seizures. Sometimes law enforcement sucks ass, and I've o I've almost gotten arrested during seizures a couple times, so I can understand keeping a camera on just in case. Good idea uh, to make sure that everything is copacetic. I love that word. Sorry, it's not germane to, my love for the word copacetic is not germane to me telling this tale. But also, I love the word copacetic. But anyway, <clears throat> back to the story. So this lady who is just kind of biding her time and basically has just told this person off for getting really, really close and basically trying to smack her and then acting like, okay, I have seen toddlers have tanties who were not as ill-behaved as this person who I would think is maybe in their early to mid twenties, just acting like an absolute dickhead I, I apologize for the cussing, but I am probably going to do that a few times in this video. So if it offends you, I'm very sorry. It's not intentional and, but anyway. So crazy, crazy Abigail, the person who is basically like, oh, well, you know, getting up in someone else's face and trying to knock a camera out of their hands and just, being, in general, an all-around jerk and everything else and basically screaming, oh, this, you know, this person that I'm trying to smack 
is the person that's going up against me and just in general when she gets caught acting like a jerk throws herself to the floor but not before she puts something under her head because when you fall to the floor during say an anxiety attack or a seizure you often find yourself having the wherewithal to pop a pillow or a folded shirt under your noggin just like that before you go down and you don't end up bumping your noggin against a hard floor. Never. Sarcasm sign please, editing path. Thank you. Anyway, so this is happening and she manages to come to very quickly and which is impressive and is still screeching and going towards the person that she is apparently scared of saying get her away from me and please don't record me during my anxiety attack which you kind of threw it's more of a tanty sorry honey it's more of a tanty honey bun than it is an anxiety attack and your behavior is worrying your behavior is terrifying and rather threatening while the person you're threatening is basically backing away and saying no 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 i'm just here for a pair of panties because you know listen if there's a good sale or a coupon you get in line and you get yourself a pair of panties or whatevs but also victoria's secret bra sizing is gosh awful so do that by yourself uh there are actually good websites on how to do that if you're a lady person or someone who just in general would rather have well-fitting lingerie which i'm not discussing here but you know I'm, I've done a lot this week and my mind is blipping and we were discussing Victoria's Secret and so anyway, so she's doing that, de -de -de -de. get her away from me, but also I'm going to chase her and yell things and be all like, oh, get her out of here, but I'm also going to be swinging and being a complete and total jerk because why not? I, I don't see you as being attacked during this. Now, a lot of things have come out. The school district that she claims to have worked for as a teacher's aide, which is deeply disturbing when you are acting worse than the average four-year-old. Seriously, I have seen more mature two-year-olds, so grow up although it's not shocking to me to see educators sometimes acting worse than children so that's depressing um finally ends up on the horn to mall security and the cops and is still playing her game while this lady that she has been attacked attacking is getting treated like complete and total crap by almost everyone around her the cops the from the rent a cop all the way down to the cop cop are basically like oh yeah well you know maybe you should just you know get escorted out to your car and blah, 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 blah. dude seriously so there's basically an aggressor who also throws a tanty tanty and then the person that she's attacking gets treated like complete and total crap by the same people who should be trying to help her now I've heard more about this lady so the school that she claimed to work for has basically disavowed her whether it's truthful or not I don't know and there's been a lot of stories where she has ended up in a newspaper from 2013 now, there is a dating profile site for people with ostomies that she's been on talking about conditions that she has apparently been diagnosed with 
and talking about how she now has a colostomy bag, which if so, uh, hey, listen, it's great to see you out and enjoying life, I suppose. Whatevs, I am not going to talk about her health issues because that's not my business. And also, hello, welcome to the channel. Um, behavior plus medical issues you cannot blame someone's bad behavior on their medical issues unless of course it really honestly you know someone's bad mood because they're having a severe headache nine times out of ten that's something else uh someone in the midst of a seizure who is not acting correctly sure but when you know that you're not acting correctly and you know that you're being a complete and total turd, sorry, uh, and everything else, and you are basically saying, oh, don't record me. Uh, during an anxiety attack, it's not exactly going to be easy for you to say the words, I'm having an anxiety attack. It's not impossible, but it's very difficult. But the thing is, there is a newspaper article that I'm going to link where it's actually her brother who has said medical issue. So now there are things that run in families, diabetes, alcoholism, depression, anxiety, things, epilepsy in some families because there are types of epilepsy in the 40,000 separate conditions uh, umbrella that can spread between families but it's not I don't really know if said colon issue uh, is genetic I would have to look into it but I don't know a lot of people who have who share having an ostomy with other family members um, but so that feels really weird, like she's taking on his medical conditions for whatever reason. Dude, something is really wrong here. I don't like it. It feels all sorts of weird and scammy and now you've basically shown yourself to be a massive asshole in public. I, I, I feel like you admitted that you did wrong to this woman so you knew what you were doing you knew it was wrong you cannot be blaming medical issues like your anxiety also if you have an ostomy bag i am pretty dang impressed that you were managing to perform so many feats uh like throwing yourself on the floor without dislodging your ostomy bag I mean, I know people with ostomy bags who can run marathons, but I'm pretty sure that they do things to ensure that nothing falls apart. Also, I can honestly say there have been times when I have had a seizure in public, apparently, where I had met floor, but I don't remember ever having the capacity to put my purse or a folded sweater or something under my noggin first. Uh, it's just, I know there are times when I get an aura that says, hey, uh, you need to lay down. So I go somewhere else or I ask to go home or something so that I can have a couch. Uh, because some people can have auras that let them know, hey, uh, go lay down. But if you're in a place where it suddenly pops up on you, I'm sorry to say that's kind of the last thing. Um, that's more going to be someone else that ends up making you a makeshift pillow. So I don't believe it. I think that people did real wrong to the victim of this and that the aggressor Okay, I'm just sorry. You're a complete and total asshole. No pun intended. I am not mocking your medical condition that you may or may not have. But I am saying you did wrong. You know it. And quite frankly, 
pony up and apologize and remember to treat people better in the future. Have a blessed day.